Having a to-do list without an intention is going to kill your productivity and burden your mental health because we tend to feel more lethargic and beat ourselves up when we don't take them all off. Hi everyone, it's another Bite Size Podcast Wednesday where I answer some of your questions here at Minkcare. My name is Mini and if you're listening this on Mink TV, remember to subscribe, like and comment down your questions so I can answer them next Wednesday. So I was asking you all how do you juggle with different commitments in your life? Now, when I say different commitments, I want you to think not only about the different deadlines and jobs that you have, but also about your relationship with others, your commitment with your own development, and also making sure that you meet your own needs. So one of you said you tried not to put so much on your to-do list. I get it. I am a to-do list junkie and it can be very overwhelming when we try to fit everything in one to-do list. Now, here's the thing. I want you to take this moment and think about this. Why are you creating a to-do list? What is the purpose of a to-do list for you? Is it because you have a lot to do? Is it because it's just something somebody told you to do? Is it because you're forgetful? Because that's me? (laughs) Or you have absolutely no idea why and how you develop this habit and believe that having a to-do list means you're productive. I used to have a to-do list everywhere I go. I write everything down, the list goes on and on and on, and it always gets carried forward to the next day and the next day and the next day. Trust me, at the end of the week, I have the same list as I have started off with on Monday. If this sounds really familiar to you, let me know because I am sure I'm not the only one. So with that said, like at the end of the week, I actually feel like a failure because I couldn't tick off my to-do list. Now, if you look at your to-do list and keep track of what is being carried forward most of the time, you'll notice that these are the things that is most important for you to complete in order to feel accomplished. But the thing is we are not doing it. And this is what we all call procrastination. And I know you're very familiar with this phenomenon because a lot of us are experiencing it every day. If not every day, then at least once every few days. That is why having a to-do list without intention is going to create more distractions. When we are trying to avoid certain tasks, that is most important to us, we tend to add more to the to-do list. And the tasks that we continuously add on may not necessarily align with our goals. So that is why right now I only have two lists, most important task list and a brain dump list. This help me identify and separate what is most important to me and what can be you know, done later. So the most important task lists are the priority lists that you need to do. And I normally start doing these things the first thing in, in, during the day. And these are the tasks that aligns with my goals. And as for the brain dump list, it's something that I just have in my journal. And whenever something come across my mind, I'll just write it down. Because remember this, your brain has limited space. So make sure that you dump all the things that come through your mind that is that you may not need to entertain at that moment into something tangible. So you kind of trick your mind and tell your mind that, okay, I've, I've done something about it. So I hope this little bite-sized podcast help you rethink the reason why you're having your to-do list and also be a little bit more intentional with creating a to-do list now this coming sunday i'm going to go more in depth about how to create like a productive list or intentional list that will help you to juggle better with your most important commitments rather than feeling overwhelmed every single day looking at your to-do list let me know your thoughts and tell me what kind of to-do list you you like to create with that said see you on sunday